What's up you guys, it's your girl Loverly and I am back with another video. You see the thumbnail and you see the title. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing another Timu Balloon Garland kit. So if you'd like to see how the full display turned out, please stay tuned and watch this video through the end. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and leave me all of your feedbacks down in the comment section below. Before we get into today's video though, I do want to give a big shout out to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Here are some of the other items I received from Timu. If you guys would like to get the direct link to any of these items on the screen, go ahead and check out my description box because I'll have all of the individual links down in my description box, as well as a code that you can use to receive an extra 30% off your order. I'll also have the code right here on the screen so you guys can use it to make your purchases. If you guys don't know much about Timu, it's a marketplace where you can buy any and everything that you usually use on a day-to-day -day basis. Here are some of the items that I received from Timu. When I say Timu, have every and any little thing that you need. You need car accessories, Timu have it. You need household decor, Timu has it. You need beauty and health products, Timu has it. Every little thing you need, go ahead and check out the Timu app. You can find it on your iOS or your Android device. And you guys, they also offer buy now and pay later options like your Klarna, your Afterpay, and all of those good stuff. So go ahead and check out Timu and then come back and let me know how your experience went. Thank you again to Timu for sponsoring today's video. But without further ado, let's just get straight into this review. Okay guys, so this is the balloon garland kit that I'm going to be reviewing today. Here you can see how it looked on the Timu website. And I won't be replicating this exact look, but I'll be placing the balloon garland on my shimmer wall backdrop. This shimmer wall is originally a 7x7 backdrop, but I didn't put up the full thing. This is about 6x6 or a little bit smaller, but I know the height is about six feet tall or a little bit under that and i'm going to be like accessorizing the backdrop with everything that comes in this kit so this kit came with three different size balloons and also mylars oh and it also came with 260 balloons but we'll get into that later on so that is what we're going to be doing today i'm not sure if it's going to be as big as what's on the timu website but we're hoping that it's big enough to look really really cute on this backdrop right here okay let's just get into it Alrighty, you guys so to make this balloon garland i'm going to be using my electric inflator and this is the medium pump the link for this will also be in the description box down below i have a hand pump and i have some scissors all from medium in the balloon garland kit I can tell that it's around three different sizes in the kit already. I it also came with some it also came with some mylars that's like donut shaped. I'm gonna show you guys that, but I did inflate them off camera already. So inside the kit, it came with three of these mylar donuts. So I'm going to be attaching this to the balloon garland later on also have some glue dots that came in the kit and a balloon garland strip. The kit also came with some 260 balloons. It came with three different color 260 balloons and that is what I used to make these sprinkles. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these sprinkles but the 260s came in the kit and this is what it's for. Sprinkles, you know like sprinkles that you put on top of cakes and ice cream? That's what this is supposed to be. So in the kit, I can see that they have some 18 inches, some five inches, and some nine and 11 inch balloons. I'm going to be inflating all of the balloons, then I'm going to see the amount that I have, and that will help me decide the style of garland that I will be creating. So I'm gonna go ahead and start inflating. I'm gonna be inflating the 11 inch balloons first because those are always used as my base. 
Okay guys, so these are the 11 inches that came in the kit. They don't look like our usual 11 inches, unfortunately. But if I did inflate these a little, you know, bigger, the balloons will pop and you're going to be left with like a cone shape. We don't use these cone shapes whenever we're creating organic balloon garlands. So what I do is just press down on the balloon while releasing some air. <laughs> just so I can get a more round shape. So now you can see the difference. This has a more round shape than this one. We don't like these cone shapes. So this is how I'm creating all of my pears. And remember when we're creating organic balloon garlands, our balloons are not supposed to be the same sizes. So whenever we're tying our balloons, you can make sure that you're deflating more air out of one than the other but this is what we're looking for from all of the pairs and it's so unfortunate that the 11 inches is just not as big as our usual 11 inches i'm losing one already <laughs> I'll be creating clusters of six with these pairs. So first I take my two pairs and I wrap them around three to four times just to make sure that it doesn't like come apart. And then I'm gonna take my third pair and wrap that in as well. Same amount of times. And then this is how my clusters will be looking, just clusters of six. And then for the larger 18 inches, I'm going to be inflating these individually. five inch balloon fillers these are what we use to like cover up all of the holes and imperfections in our garland and also use it to give your garland a little bit more flair so i have two pairs right here and these are the same exact size i used my hand pump and i pumped four times if i was using my legenda machine which is the black small machine i would set it to a 1.4 and i will get around the same size so i have two pairs and all i'm doing is just wrapping the balloons until i have this cluster of four right here so this is how i'm so this is how i'm going to be creating all of my five inch balloon fillers to add to my garland at the end I just inflated all of the, the other balloons, but I do want to come and show you guys how I create sprinkles. So you can use like 160 balloons. I usually use 160 balloons, but in this Timu balloon garland kit, they sent 260 balloons. You can still use it, but I prefer 160 balloons. So I have a hand pump. This hand pump is from medium. And then I have the 260 balloon right here. So I'm going to do like two to three pumps. Just count with me. So three pumps at first. Then I'm going to push out some of the air. I don't need the, the sprinkles that, that big. So I think I like this length. Some of, the, some of them are shorter than this, but this is like the average length for the sprinkle. See, it's a nice little length. Okay, I'm also going to be tying down here because I need to use the rest of this 260 balloon. So I'm pinching right here to 
stop the air from going down then i'm going to be twisting 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 then making a knot to close up that end make sure that you pull it tight so this is how our sprinkle look you can give it like a little bendy bend because sprinkles do have like a little bend so that is how the sprinkle look and i like to cut off this knot up here and then cut off down here and that is how the sprinkle looks easy look at that easy okay so for the rest of the 260 we're going to be repeating the same step i think i can get about three sprinkles from this or four make my first knot like so then squeeze here twist and make your second knot and there you have your second sprinkle give yourself a little cut cut you don't want or am i just being lazy because i think i can literally just get two out of it let me tie this knot first so i'm tying the first knot the same method you use whenever you're creating those tiny balloons for the balloon mosaic same exact method this is how i create my tiny tiny balloons You guys think I could get another one out of this? Yeah, I can. Okay, you guys, so one 260 balloon gives you four sprinkle. Okay, so comparing to the last couple kits that I've done, this is really good. <laughs> I lost like one, two, three, four, five, six balloons. I only lost six balloons comparing to the last garland kit. That's really good. All right, so here are all my inflated balloons and I think I'm gonna go ahead and create the garland like I will do my usual garlands. And that is simply tying the, gar tying the clusters together by the neck. So I'm going to be taking the, a neck from this cluster and tying it to one of the necks from this other cluster right here. And that makes my garlands so tight. That's why I love doing that method. So I'm gonna go ahead and create like a full length of garland for one side of the backdrop right now. And then if I have enough, then I add some more to go across my backdrop. So I have my base garland right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven clusters at the moment. And I still have 
a little bit of clusters and like my other balloons over there so so far so good i think it's gonna create a nice size for this backdrop right here so i'm gonna go ahead and use 260s to attach this garland but first i have to show you guys how i will be doing that I use a 260 to create like a hoop on the shimmer wall and this is what is going to hold the garland in place on the backdrop. So I'm going to be putting it in like different places on the backdrop just so I have different attachment points. Now that I have my attachments on the shimmer wall, I'm going to go ahead and Put my garland up so I think I want to start at the top so I'm going to be using this hoop that I have up here and just putting it around one of my balloons up here So now that I have my base up, I kind of have an idea of the direction that I want to um, take this in. And that is the whole reason of like having a base first. So you can get it an idea in your head of the shape that you're going for and stuff like that. I didn't love that first shape, so that is why I changed it up a bit. But I'm going to go in with all of these extra clusters that I have. And I'm going to start at the bottom down here. It did not come with that many blue, unfortunately. I don't know what is going on. But I'm just going to go in with the rest of the clusters that I have and make them look really, really nice. So the same exact way I use, the same exact method I use to... Um, attach the clusters to each other for the garland base. That is how I'm going to be attaching these extra clusters on the garland. Just tying it right in. I do have like a whole bunch of um, confetti balloons. So when you guys inflate confetti balloons and they all fall to the bottom, you want to wipe them down with a cloth or a towel just so you can create static on the balloon and allow all of the sprinkles or the confetti inside to stick. 
all over the balloon instead of just falling down to the bottom. So you see a big difference? So instead of the balloon, so instead of the confetti just falling to the bottom of the balloon like this, they're like spread all over the balloons. So this is what you want. So I'm going to go in with these confetti balloons as well and just tie them all over the garland like I did for the other balloons. So I have scotch tape attached to it. I just folded the scotch tape. This is the tape that I'm using. Folded the scotch tape. I'm using the heavy duty one actually. And fold it, put it on the back of the mylar. And then I'm going to just attach it all over the balloon garland. five inch fillers and I'm going to be using rubber bands to attach it the balloon garland kit did come with glue dots but I don't want to use that I want to use these you guys that is it for today's review i really love the way it turned out super cute can be for like somebody's birthday party or something like that i love it but i also want to know how you guys feel about it down in the comment section below what do you think about this timu balloon garland kit like do you like it you think it could have more balloons like I want to know everything also if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up and also you guys don't forget to check out timu the direct link to the app will be down in the description box below as well as this little code right here that you can use to receive 30 percent off your order from timu but that is all for today's review i will definitely catch you guys in my next video bye So I think I learned the trick on how to use cheap balloons and I'll talk about it in another video, okay?